In the contemporary landscape of hit anime shows such as One Piece and Naruto, a striking commonality emerges. Both possess the elements of expansive world building and boast massive fan bases. This phenomenon of widespread acclaim and fervent fandom is reminiscent of a bygone era when a one-eyed sailor named Popeye, created by LZ Chrysler Seeger, held a similar sway over the collective imagination of audiences. Popeye's origins trace back to January 17, 1929, when he made his debut in the daily King Features comic strip Thimble Theatre. The strip, already in its tenth year, saw Popeye swiftly ascend to the forefront, transforming Thimble Theatre into one of King Features' most cherished properties during the 1930s. Even after Seeger's passing in 1938, Thimble Theatre continued under various writers and artists, notably Seeger's assistant, Bud Sagendorf, eventually adopting the name Popeye. To this day, R.K. Milholland skillfully crafts new Sunday installments while daily strips consist of reprints of Sagendorf's timeless tales. The transition from comic strip to animated brilliance occurred in 1933, where Max Fleischer adapted the Thimble Theatre characters into the iconic Popeye the Sailor theatrical cartoon shorts for Paramount Pictures. These cartoons, spanning through 1957 under Fleischer Studios and later Paramount's Famous Studios, stood out as some of the most beloved creations of the 1930s. Notably, during World War II, Popeye's animated adventures took on an additional role, serving as a platform for Allied propaganda and a reflection of the times. The legacy of Popeye transcends the confines of comic strips and animated shorts. Over the years, he has graced the pages of comic books, enlivened television screens through captivating cartoons, ventured into the realm of video games, became a staple in countless advertisements, and even made a notable appearance in the 1980 live-action film directed by Robert Altman, with Robin Williams delivering a memorable portrayal. The enduring impact of Popeye is encapsulated in the words of Charles M. Schultz, who declared it a perfect comic strip consistent in drawing and humor. This sentiment is echoed by the recognition Popeye received in 2002, when TV Guide ranked him at an impressive number 20 on its 50 Greatest Cartoon Characters of All Time. Thus, Popeye stands as a timeless emblem of entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of popular culture. So let's talk about Popeye and Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. They're kind of alike, but also a bit different. First off, they're super strong, like way stronger than normal folks. But here's the cool part. Popeye gets his strength by eating spinach, and Luffy, well, he ate this special gum-gum fruit that made him all rubbery and powerful. Next up, love stories. Popeye has this love triangle thing with olive oil and Bluto in his stories. Luffy's got his own love twist in One Piece, especially with a character named Boa Hancock. Love's a part of their adventures, making things interesting. Now, about never giving up. Popeye keeps going after Olive Oil even when Bluto tries to mess things up. Luffy's on a big mission to be the Pirate King, and no matter what problems come his way, he just keeps pushing forward. Lastly, their personalities. Popeye might seem a bit rough and not super educated, but, surprise, he's smart when it comes to fixing things. Luffy might look carefree, but when things get tough, he shows some serious thinking and leadership skills. So, in simple terms, even though Popeye and Luffy both have super strength and deal with love stuff, they get their powers differently, have unique love stories, and have special personalities that make their adventures super cool. With this in mind, Warner Brothers Discovery, the entity that owns the rights to Popeye, has the potential to bring the spinach-loving sailor to the big screen once again. As the rightful owners of the Popeye franchise, they have the authority to greenlight and produce a new movie. While the recent excitement about a Dwayne Johnson-led Popeye film turned out to be a bit of a letdown, the possibility of Warner Brothers Discovery reviving the iconic character for a fresh cinematic adventure remains on the table. As the stewards of Popeye's legacy, they have the creative reins to explore new storytelling possibilities and captivate audiences with the timeless charm of the one-eyed sailor. And guess what? There's some buzz about a new Popeye movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and it's supposed to hit the screens in 2024. There are different trailers, 
that show snippets of what looks like a live-action Popeye film. The trailer has awesome dialogue hyping up Popeye as a spinach-loving sailor with muscles flexing in determination. There are shots of pirate ships sailing through different oceans, storms, and even Sandy Cove. The title card pops up saying Popeye the Sailor Man with a movie hashtag and a coming soon tag. But did you know Popeye was a big deal back in the day? Even famous people like Pablo Picasso, the art maestro, were fans of the spinach-loving sailor. Picasso, known for groundbreaking art from the early 20th century, had a playful side. In 1957, a photographer named Andre Weiler captured a famous photo of Picasso dressed up as Popeye. Picasso loved having fun with photography, showing that even artistic legends couldn't resist channeling the spirit of Popeye. In the 21st century, Popeye isn't as famous as he used to be, but he's had some cool moments, like being in a music video with Wilco and appearing in new comics celebrating his 90th anniversary. There's been talk about a big screen comeback for a while, and it even had a heavyweight talent like Gennady Tartakovsky behind it. He's known for his work on animated projects like Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack. However, the project disappeared for a bit due to creative differences, but Tartakovsky surprised everyone by returning to it in 2020. Now, back to Dwayne Johnson. Our beloved rock got into the Popeye spirit in 2018 when he rocked a Popeye Halloween costume and shared it on Instagram. Can you imagine him in a live-action Popeye movie? The guy's got the muscles for it, for sure. However, it seems the excitement might be a bit premature. Some clever sleuths discovered that the trailer making the rounds is unfortunately a fake. It's a mix of clips from various Hollywood hits over the last 15 years, including scenes from Johnson's Jungle Cruise and even shots from Johnny Depp's Pirates of the Caribbean. So it looks like we might have to hold off on the Popeye excitement for now. As of now, the chances of a live-action Popeye movie hitting the big screen seem pretty slim, considering all the projects on Dwayne Johnson's plate. But even though Popeye and Luffy have some similarities, there are key differences that make their adventures unique. First off, how they get their powers is different. Popeye's strength is kind of magical, starting with luck and then spinach, which is a bit whimsical. In contrast, Luffy's abilities come from a devil fruit, a clear and defined source in the world of One Piece. Then there's the way their stories unfold. One Piece has a big detailed world with a continuous story that keeps going. On the other hand, Popeye's tales don't follow a strict order. They're more like separate adventures that don't always connect. One Piece explores a vast world with deep stories and changing characters, while Popeye's escapades are often standalone episodes. When it comes to the characters themselves, Luffy's is more complex. He's got a clear goal, grows personally, and has intricate relationships with his crew, the Straw Hat Pirates. Popeye, though beloved, is simpler. He's often driven by straightforward motives like saving olive oil. And don't forget about their friends. In Popeye's world, characters like Sweet Pea, Olive Oil, and Bluto show up over and over again. In One Piece, Luffy's crewmates, the Straw Hat Pirates, each have their own stories and develop as characters. So, even though Popeye and Luffy share some superhero traits and deal with love triangles, their powers, character depth, and how their stories are told make them stand out. One Piece's ongoing and connective narrative is a sharp contrast to Popeye's more random and episodic adventures. Well, that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.